Hi everybody, my name is Clay DeWeese and I'm the pastor here at Stonebridge over the men's ministry and adult education. And we're in the fourth session of our six weeks to a healthy life. And the topic this week is having fun. And when I saw this topic, I immediately thought back to nine years ago. I was involved in starting a ministry here in Montgomery County to unchurched men who love the outdoors. It's called Legacy Outfitters. And several of us got together and decided that we wanted to try and raise some funds for this ministry uh, that would cover the first two years of operations so that we wouldn't have to be in the fundraising business um, for a while and we could focus on the ministry. The model of the ministry was to have a monthly luncheon, uh, a monthly dinner uh, for men where we served dinner and we had an expert speaker, uh, some topic related to the outdoors, hunting or fishing or maybe kayaking or, or bow hunting uh, or even camping, anything related to the outdoors. That was the attraction uh, that we had with the men that we were trying to reach. We also had uh, focus groups where men would break up and they would then relate to one another on a smaller level, just like your small groups, where we would uh, go on hunting trips or fishing trips and have an opportunity to have some one-on-one -on -one time with the men that we had met at the dinners. After we explained this model to one of the churches, uh, one of the men inquired uh, as to are we going to preach during these dinners? Are they going to hear the gospel at these dinners? And we said, well, that's not really the focus of what we're trying to do. We're trying to use these dinners to reach men and then be able to get them into the outdoors. Um, and then as those relationships develop, be able to share what God had done in our lives and eventually share the gospel with them. And he said, well, this really just sounds like a bunch of Christian men having fun. I, I don't think that our church is going to be um, supporting you in that. You know, I understood where he was coming from. Um, most people don't link having fun with Christianity, but the Jesus that I know, um, I think had a lot of fun. He uh, attended dinner parties. He celebrated with his family and his friends at the wedding at Cana. And one of the most important things I think that indicated that he was someone that enjoyed uh, having fun was children were attracted to him. And I know with three grandsons, uh, you better be ready to have fun with them. We're also made in God's image. In fact, recreation and fun are essential to our physical and emotional health. I like what Oswald Chambers said. He said, human nature, if it's healthy, demands excitement. And I like to think of the Christian walk as an exciting adventure. If you think about it, I like, I like to use the analogy of a, a whitewater rafting trip. I don't know if you've been in, on one of those, but whitewater rafting is an exciting uh, thing to do. Uh, it, it has uh, elements of going into an unfamiliar environment um, where you're approaching a river that you personally haven't had any uh, knowledge of or maybe any experience with. You don't have any knowledge of what's ahead. Uh, where are you going to even end up? You have this sense of a lack of control. You have a sense of potential danger and being on edge. Really the only reason why you would take a whitewater rafting trip and get in that raft and go out into that raging river is that you trust the guy in the back of the boat. And I think that's uh, a lot like what our Christian walk should be. We can trust God to uh, be a guide for us as we enter that water of the Christian walk, that raging river, and, and enter into the adventure and excitement that that might bring our way. You know, I hope you think about having fun and excitement tonight in your small group, that 
You have a great discussion tonight. Oh, by the way, that ministry that we started nine years ago, Legacy Outfitters, has now had the opportunity to share the love of God and the love of outdoors with over 600 men, all through a bunch of guys, Christian guys that just wanted to have fun. 